welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, I am so happy you stopped by. Happy Halloween! I've got quite a few October favorites for you on this final day of October. Really excited for November. November is actually my birthday month and of course this weekend is the end of daylight savings time, which is great because I like to go an hour back. Love sleep, love it, that's a favorite always. But on to my makeup favorites. First of all, I have got some new lighting. So that is a favorite that is not really makeup related, but related to these videos for sure. Let me know down below how you think the lighting is. I think it's pretty good right now. I'm still playing with it to see how it looks in close-up tutorials and things like that, but it's great because I don't have to film during the day anymore, which is my busiest time. So it's great that I can film at night, so really excited about that. Thanks, Mom, if you're watching for the lights. They were an early birthday gift, so definitely a favorite, especially if you guys let me know down below if you like them. I would love to hear that. So now on to the actual cosmetic favorites. I'm going to start off with the most obvious favorite. It is my Lorac Mega Pro Palette. Love this thing. It is awesome. I told you guys that I was going to do a week's worth of tutorials this past week that is already gone, but I'm trying to upload them this weekend and see what I can do. I've been extremely busy with school this week, so please forgive that, but I'm still going to do the one palette in one week with this palette, but I just love this. So beautiful. Such a pretty palette. Definitely a great thing um, to have on hand. If you got your hands on this, you are so lucky though because they really did do quite a limited release. Not sure if they're going to be re-releasing it anytime soon, but I will leave the Amazon link down below, which is where they've been re-releasing it every so often. Maybe they will before Christmas. I kind of have a feeling they probably will. My next two favorites are these two eyeliners. The first one is from It Cosmetics and is the No Tug Waterproof Gel Eyeliner in black brown. I do have it on my upper lash line right now. It really is a smooth no tug liner. It looks really, really nice and blends out really well too, even though it is waterproof on me personally. I find this does a great job. I mean, once it settles in, it really doesn't move and I love that about it. My next eye favorite is this Mally Evercolor Waterproof Eyeliner. Love this stuff. This is in the shade Lucky Penny and when she says these are bulletproof, she means it. Such a really pretty autumn kind of a bronze. I mean, really a coppery Lucky Penny color, and I really love this. I do have it on my lower lash line. Love wearing that there, and I think if you have green eyes especially, this kind of shade is so pretty, so pretty. Really loving that lately. The last eye favorite is my Jordana 12 Hour Made to Last Eyeshadow Pencil in Continuous Almond, I believe. Yes, Continuous Almond. Love using this as a base for shadows. I think it makes a lot of shadows pop, and especially with that Lorac Pro uh, Mega Pro palette, it's really great because those shadows tend to be a little bit, um, a little bit more buttery. So blending them is great, but putting them, uh, packing them on is really a lot better if you have a stickier base like this one. Love this, and they are on sale at Walgreens now. There's rumors of them being discontinued. I'm not sure if they are, but. Definitely go pick them up while they're on sale either way. But now on to some face products. Both of these I believe have been in previous Friday favorites this past month. The first one is my Revlon Color Stay Foundation. The shade I have is 250 Fresh Beige. I do have it on now. I have loved Revlon Color Stay for years. This was uh, one of the first foundations I ever used when I was a really uh, younger teenager. And I think it's a great foundation even still at 22 almost. I really love this. And I think it's a really... Uh, good kind of all skin type foundation. Obviously they have the oily to combination which is what I wear and then they've got the dry to normal so you can really kind of customize the uh, needs that you have with this foundation. So I really love it. The shade range is probably the best in the drugstore so definitely pick this up if you're looking for a long-lasting drugstore foundation but if you are looking for a high-end long-lasting foundation my favorite is the Estee Lauder Double Wear and the shade I have is 2-in-1 Desert Beige awesome awesome foundation i mean this is the fullest foundation or the fullest coverage foundation i have in my collection awesome uh coverage awesome color selection definitely my favorite high-end foundation and pretty much the only high-end foundation that i'll consistently buy just because i know it's always going to be the same always going to be good and always work for my oily skin and i have to say as far as foundations for oily skin go, this is my favorite one of all time. I mean, it really seems to keep my oil at bay, which is kind of a task. So, really love this and have been loving both of those foundations this month. 
Onto a concealer favorite, I picked up the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Corrector Concentrate Cream, and this is kind of one of those peachy tone concealer, uh, corrective concealers, and I really have been loving this lately. If you're familiar with the Benefit Erase Paste, it's kind of that same concept, a peachy tone concealer, but this one's just a little bit, um, not as kind of watery feeling to me. I've never used the Benefit Erase Paste on my uh, skin. I've tested it in the store, but I knew it would crease on me, and I feel like this one was just a little bit more of a balmy, thicker consistency, and definitely does a great job of concealing my, uh, or correcting my dark circles, which is something that I've been struggling with lately. There it is on my hand. I mean, you can see that's extremely pigmented. What I like to do with it is put it underneath my foundation, put foundation on, then go in with just your regular, maybe a highlighting concealer, or whatever you would use for concealer. I tend to use the Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer. So that's what I just tend to do. The shade I have in this is medium, in case you want to know for reference. My and last I, face favorite is this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Illuminating Powder. And the shade I have is Catwalk Pink. Love this so much for highlighting. Really pretty. I can't get away with a lot of highlighting in the summertime, but when it gets a little cooler outside, my skin seems to uh, kind of adjust a little bit and be a little less oily so I can do a little bit of highlighting on my cheekbones and this is what I've been really gravitating towards lately you see there gives just like a hint I mean a little little bit of glow I do have it on today and it just I really like the way it catches the light but doesn't look super shiny or oily really love that on to my lip favorites I've just got three lip products that I've really been loving this month the first one is not for the faint of heart but it is a classic beautiful red this is the NYX matte lipstick in Alabama I love this I have loved this for quite some time now and it just really does the job. I wore this the other day to class and was able to get through all day, come home, eat lunch, take a nap, and it was still on my lips. So these have excellent staying power. Um, talking, eating, drinking, I think these are a really good long-lasting lipstick as well. And considering they're matte, they don't feel too drying, they don't feel uncomfortable on the lips. I think they have great color selection as well, but Alabama is definitely one of my favorites. And if you're looking for a red lip for holiday time, this is a great one. I don't find it's too bold, but it's just right. It's a really classic red. The next lipstick I've been loving is this Essence uh, Long Lasting Lipstick in 06 Barely There. Really pretty. Um, I did a review on these maybe two months ago or a month ago. Um, and I really, really love this shade. It's kind of a brown nude, kind of that Kylie Jenner lip that everybody's been loving, but really pretty. Love that. Goes with a lot of different eye looks. And I am going to be posting one of my Lorac Mega Pro tutorials in it. I wear this lipstick. So, really love that. If you want to see it on my lips, it is in that video. But, if you want to know what's on my lips right now, it is my next favorite, which is the Benefit Ladies' Choice Lipstick. Now, I got this in a set, I believe, last Black Friday for $18.00. So be sure to keep your eyes peeled on Black Friday. They have a lot of these lipstick sets and it came with three full size Benefit lipsticks. And this one's in Ladies Choice and it's really, really pretty. Kind of a pinky nude. Love that shade. And just a little information for you. Um, Jesse James Decker, who is married to Eric Decker, she also, they have a reality show on the E! Network called... I can't remember what it's called, but you probably know who she is if you watch the E! Network. This is one of her favorite lipsticks, and I know that because she actually has a YouTube channel where she does her own makeup tutorials. I think that's really neat that she's such a celebrity and has beautiful makeup, but she does her own makeup and uh, does her own tutorials. Those are my October favorites, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Really looking forward to November and Thanksgiving. Gonna have some special videos coming on the channel with some holiday gift sets and things like that. Be sure to let me know how you uh, like the lighting. I would be very interested to know your opinion on it. I think it's looking good, but I always want to know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked this video, click the like button. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my holiday videos, things like that. going to be a lot of exciting things happening for the channel. And thanks again for watching, and have a great weekend.